Hey everybody, it's I think it's Tuesday, uh, April the 18th. Back over to Roosie dealer, picked up my uh, Kara Y200, um, which is what we're looking at here. Probably make a short video on here, so. Uh, we're over here at Brock Tech VO. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Elo Elo. <clears throat> So what did I get done today? I uh, got a lot of changes coming, probably uh, 20, 30 different changes. But today we've uh, done uh, 21 front, 18 rear rims. I just had them pick out the tires, so I think that's like a 100 maybe. I don't know if we can see what it is. So, mo moto tire, I moto tire. Uh, that's the rim. I, I don't know if they're alloy or steel. They look like they might be steel. I was hoping for alloy, but anyhow, that's the rim. Uh, the tire, so that's the brand of the tire. So, don't know if it's good. It looks like the tread tra pattern's kind of decent. So, again, it's a 200cc bike. I don't know that it's uh, that, that powerful. Same brands on the bottom, so I know they're tired. If you have any comments or something and you want to let me know if that's a good, uh, good thing, so 275.21 or 21. So, I don't know nothing about the tires in the Philippines unless it's Dunlop or, uh, uh, you know, Maxxis or Pirelli or some of the big names. I've never heard of these tires, but maybe over here they're kind of popular, you know, more common. I don't know. I'm trying to see, look for a uh, size on here. So they set that up. They worked on the front forks. The oil was not the correct height. I think there was like 50 millimeter difference between legs because I was having some issues with that. So we're going to be working on suspension. Just uh, put a little money in, just find a little play bike for me. Here's the, uh, uh, it's not the side. I don't know. Got to look at the camera. So, yeah. So. Anyhow, that's the tire, so. They're dot, dot approved, so they tighten up the chain for me when they threw that on. They cut off the uh, tabs here. There used to be like some swing arm tabs. I had them paint that up a little bit, so they did that. Got the chain tightened up to a more appropriate level. Fix the uh, fork, so it's a work in progress. I just wanted to try a Rusi brand. I've had all the other brands, KTM's and Kawasaki's and Yamaha's, Husqvarna's, Suzuki's, everything made I've owned. So I just came over here. This seemed to be one of the more popular brands uh, and the most, I think it is the most popular brand in the Philippines. And the main reason for that, it's affordable. I mean, Honda is one of the you know, top brands that's got common and, and quality and all that. But this is the uh, very affordable. A Honda that looks like this would run six to 10 grand. I got this for about $1,400. Plus time I get done with the modifications, I might have another thousand in it or something like that. So at the end of the day, with all the things I get done with it, the bark buster, hand guards, the risers, working on the suspension, um, just all kinds of different things I'm getting done. Uh, XR carburetor, XR, some sort of high performance ignition, skid plate, um, rim locks. I can't even think of all the things I've got listed for it, uh, upgrading the so gearing again, probably going to go with a 49, 
47 or 49 on the back and it did chain so overall i'm pretty pleased with the bike it's a uh, it's kind of a i use it as a light trail bike uh, just get around town tackle a few rough roads on it so i'm 61 i'm not really racing anymore uh, if i was racing i'd go buy a ktm uh, 250 two stroke or 300 so that would be my pick as a race bike but uh, don't, it's impractical to spend 10 15,000 on a ktm and ride it up and down the street and, at uh, 30 40 miles an hour so so i thought i'd give this brand a try and the uh, price is right so i'll let you know as i go on the different uh, problems I encounter. So, but if you have any questions or comments, you can let me know what you guys think about the tires or the rims. I think they're steel. I was hoping to go up to aluminum, but I think they got me steel ones. So, maybe next time. I was hoping something for some, like aluminum uh, did or DID or whatever. I think they make some blue ones or something. I can't think of the other brand. There's so many different ones I used back in America. So was, actually, that's why I had ordered this some sort of blue out anodized uh, alloy rims, but they couldn't find or none available to that they could find. So I saw just throw some black ones on it because that's what came with it. So anyhow, it's a pretty neat looking little bike and. Pretty good on the gas mileage. They say it's a 10 liter tank, but I think it's a eight. Well, when I got gas in it, I think it was just slightly under eight. So it's closer to eight liter. Um, suspension travel front and back's about eight inches. Uh, might be a little less in the back. Uh, six to eight in the back and eight in the front would be a uh, guess. Never hear anybody talk about that, so. So that's what I actually measured. Uh, the most it could have is eight inches in the front. So in the back, it's hard, it's got straight shock. So I'm guessing six to eight in the back. Um, also the ground clearance is very good. It was uh, setting at, I think it was around uh, 11. Now with these tires, it's gonna be up to 12, 12 and a half inches. I'm six foot four, so that's not an issue for me. Love the foot bags that are really wide and modern, so they look they did a great job on it. Really sharp. Don't like the location so much. I wish an ABA were back a little bit more and higher, but the foot peg itself is foldable, really sharp, and good support. The shift lever is uh not flexible so i don't really crazy about that wish the lever was flexible I might upgrade that sometime before i break the uh, shift shaft off same with the brake it's um, not flexible so we may address if we can address some of those issues looking at uh, possibly a hydraulic uh, clutch they got them fairly cheap over here and, they're gonna get one in and test it you know, on one of their bikes. And if I like it, uh, I'll uh, get it for this bike. So lots of upgrades coming, probably uh, $1,500 worth of thousand to $1,500 up, up, uh, upgrades. So we'll keep you informed. Yeah, the clutch pool is kind of rigid. Uh, the motors really seem surprisingly strong and pulls up the hills. So. It really surprises me now by no means is it fast but i chug up all the hills around here and they're three or four thousand feet high at least and uh it'll, you know it chugs up them now is it going to charge up them in a, at a fast rate of pace no but it, it gets me up the hill so and that's basically where i'm at like some 61 and a few health issues so but I went up into the mountains the other day on it. And I was pretty pleased uh, overall. So it got, got me through the woods and back home. So 
I'll let you know what I think about the handling of this 1821 because that's all I've ever used because I've had some issues with the bike and so supposedly the fork oil has been changed to the ride height and we'll see uh, if that solves it because the front end was really uh, funky handling and wanted to uh, go in and out of the ruts and it was hard to keep on the trail so but it also had a 16 back and an 18 front now it's 21 18 so hopefully that will straighten things out uh, so many 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 more videos to come on updates and my thoughts as i uh, go along with the build so i just wanted to share that with everybody and we'll call this one a wrap we're going to go test it out on some trails and back roads and uh, probably head down to RJ's resort here locally and do a swimming too because it's summer and really hot. So that's it from the Rusi dealer here at uh, Terry's Philippine Journey. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for more action. That's the staff and my wife over there watching. So thanks for watching everyone. Take care.